Greetings and welcome to Townsmen! Oops. Today we're going to cast our wizarding eye on this lovely little gem of a virtual realm which appeared in the continuum just yesterday. We're going to play some Townsmen. Townsman VR is that most rare of virtual realms, where you don't simply embody an individual on a quest or a mission. I'm not running around shooting people, firing arrows, or hacking them down with swords. No, in Townsman VR, you are a godlike entity hovering high above your minions of this tiny circular island, directing their expansion and their growth. Perhaps not precisely a god, but this is not a god sim, as you would recognize it, but more of a kind of wizarding overlord town manager who has to dictate the placement of new buildings, issue orders to individual townsfolk to have them produce the requirements that your town needs. It owes perhaps more to that great and archaic series Settlers, or more recently, the likes of Banished. Although, on a much more modest scale, at least for now, now before we start, I should just point out that I have had to rip off the lower half of my wizarding body here. It was, of course, excruciatingly painful. Fortunately, this is just my virtual avatar that I'm using my mixed reality magic to combine with the game footage and make it all kind of work and stuff. I've also deleted my hands um, because the uh, this world provides hands already. First things first, you've got to be able to move around if you're going to issue orders to your minions. And you do that simply by using the grip buttons and pulling yourself around wherever you want to go. You can also scale the world up and down by holding both grip buttons down and either pulling your hands apart or pushing them together. It's incredibly intuitive and it does feel extremely awesome as you fly about the place doing whatever you need to do. You can also rotate the world similarly to scaling it by gripping both buttons down and rotating your hands around each other. Now, like most town managers, you're going to have to spend a lot of time worrying about the resources at your disposal. And you can bring up a little resources menu there and see I've got seven wood, nine stone, no iron ore, no swords, no meat, no grilled meat. V basically, I'm lacking in almost everything. Now, it's important to say at this point, this is an early access virtual realm. This is not a finished and complete virtual realm. The gods who have created this place are still in the process of refining it and improving it, and hopefully adding depth. Right now, as it is today, it's basically a sandbox. It's kind of a toy. There's not a lot of point to what you're doing. Yes, you will be attacked by invaders, and you'll have to repel them by creating soldiers, but it's a very simple gameplay arc in its current form. But it's also astonishingly cheap. In Earth Pounds, a mere seven pounds and 20 earth pennies um, or whatever the equivalent local currency in your corner of the metaverse is. Now that's, now that's very cheap considering the level of polish and all the little touches and refinements that this uh, virtual realm already exhibits. I mean, I mean just look at this. I'm, I'm down, I have gone down to the level of my minions and there's this little cat. Look at this. Look at Look at this little cutie! <laughs> Look at this little cutie! It's even purring, and I can even feel it purring, rumbling through my hand here. It's out, and a tree has literally just emerged right in front of me. Does it not know that I'm in the middle of filming? Seriously? I mean, okay, so there you go. Trees grow. Trees grow. Look at this little cutie pie. Oh, it's such a little cutie cat. Um, as I said, although the actual content in this game and the kind of the gameplay refinement still has a long way to go. The, the touches and the polish and the detail is so endearing and you can just spend hours in this game and I did do last night when I was learning it when I ran through the tutorial which of course now means I am an expert, a mighty and powerful expert uh, who, will, uh, who will go on to demonstrate all of the various features that are currently available in this game but there's just, I mean I don't, I kind of, I kind of don't want to ruin too many things because there were so many moments where I would do something just kind of speculative, I kind of thought, I wonder, I mean, you know, there's this cloud here, I wonder, I can grab the clouds, I can grab the clouds, um, is that not amazing, look, and not only that, but I, I could pull the clouds apart, I can make a big cloud, and I can make a little cloud, I mean, it's little touches like that, there's loads and loads and loads of that, um, which is just, it's just a game that makes you smile, I mean, it's just a virtual realm, 
that makes you smile and makes you really feel like you are this benevolent, or perhaps not so benevolent, overlord ruling over a living, if kind of tiny little world of your own minions. Um, anyway, look, let's get on with let's get on with some actual development for my town here. So. I need to do some building. Here's my build menu. So I've got like population, resources, food supply, all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to build a residence to increase my population. It's going to cost me three wood and one stone by the looks of it. Sorry, one wood and one stone. Come on, here we go. So I just grab it. I just grab it out of the little like pop-up window. Which is just beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. It, honestly. This is only possible in a virtual realm. This is only possible in a virtual realm. Yeah, you know, you can, in, in the old flat screen world, you can get games, experiences, realms of a similar type to this with much more depth and much more detail and much more sophistication. But you can't just reach in and grab your tiny little building, look at it, and then decide you're going to whack it down. Just there. There we go. There's me building. Um, I need a worker now to build that, so I need to find somebody. I don't have a lot of people at the moment, I don't think. Um, I got this guy. What's he? I think he's a hunter, maybe, or a woodsman. I think he might be a woodsman, actually, chopping trees down, which I kind of need, but... Hold on, let me check my resources. I got ten wood. That's enough for now. So, uh... So, uh, I'll just pop him down. Like that. He becomes a builder. <laughs> Let's just get down. Let's just crouch down. He becomes a builder, he's going to go off, he's going to get some wood. And start building! He's building his little house. Someone's going to live there, probably. I don't know who. Um, presumably someone new will come to the island. I'm not entirely sure how the mechanics work in that respect. But whoever it is, they will be a new minion of mine. And I will be able to task them with various important jobs. Like most of these sorts of games, there's a sort of a tree there's production buildings and then there's buildings that take those raw resources and combine them into more refined resources. Ultimately the goal is to build uh, a barracks and a, an armory and actually start producing soldiers to defend yourself from the evil hordes, the evil doers who live beyond in the great blue. Look, I've just got three, count them, three new guys. So I can give them jobs now. So I'm going to give this guy a job as a woodcutter. I'm going to give this guy a job, I think, as a uh, farmer. So I'm going to go over to the farm, which is over here. Here's the farm. Look, let's just let's just get right down to it. Hey. Right down into it. Huh? You become a farmer. He is now a farmer. He's going to start producing wheat, which of course we can later turn into uh, bread and other things. In fact, we can we can task this guy right now. Hello. We also need food, of course. Now, we're getting wheat at the moment, but people don't want to just eat wheat. That would just be dull and boring and kind of horrible. So we're going to get some fish as well. So we're going to get this guy, <laughs> this, this, this chap here. He's going to be our new fisherman, uh, which is going to be at the fishing pond just over here. There he goes. Gets his fishing hat. Gets his fishing breeches. Gets his fishing rod. And away he's fishing. And you can actually see. You can actually see the fish in here. And... Come on. You can pick them up yourself. Um, I don't, can I put them in the fishing thing? I mean, I, I, I put it there. <laughs> I put it there. I don't know if that means I think it's dead now. I think that's a dead fish. <laughs> so I killed it. I don't, maybe there's a way of like sort of gathering resources yourself to help your people to speed the process along. But I mean, if there is, I, I clearly don't know how to do it. I just killed a fish. Okay, never mind. Look, let's go back up into the sky. Okay, I'll, I've put you on orbit mode, so um, you know you can just orbit whilst I uh, whilst I go about my business here, uh, building up a few things because I need to get some stuff on the go whilst I know what I'm doing. Um, I've got some farmers going. I kind of I kind of need look, this. He's a spare guy. Uh, I'm gonna need more stone, so let's put him down there as a stone worker. He's gonna work the quarry, making all of the stone blocks that we will of course then use in the future. Look, look at this. Look at this out there, just just circling the island. Look, we've got a friend out there, a whale. There'll be whales here, Captain. Now there is only one island at the moment. There's one island. It's a very pretty little island. It is quite small. I'm hoping there'll be bigger islands available in the future, and perhaps slightly more of a 
uh, a challenge in the way you have to expand it and, and manage the resources and manage the distribution of things around your town. Um, but nonetheless, it is an early access realm. As I said, there is still a lot of development to go here. And considering the level of polish and the level of just refinement and touches that they've managed to achieve so far, frankly, uh, I'm pretty confident that they're going to take this all the way. I have to say, it would be such a shame if they didn't. All right, look, we've got three new people here now. We're going to make another one of them a woodsman. In fact, let's make two of them woodsmen. Uh, they don't seem to know what they're doing. Shall I take them over? Look, I'll take both of them over. Here we go. Take both of them over to the trees. These are the trees that I want you to chop. Chop them. Chop them, make them into logs, and we shall uh, indeed be blessed with many a log. Okay, one more residence, I think. Just, just tucked back here. There we go. Get this guy on it. As the builder. Oh! Oh, I hit the bell! <laughs> See what I mean about the touches? I keep noticing new things. <laughs> Makes the whole building jump. Can I like... I thought I might be able to smash the building, but apparently not. Um, I mean, you can do horrible things to people, you know, you can pick them up and you can throw them about and stuff. Look, there's this guy here. Uh -huh. If I decide I've taken a dislike into this uh -huh. guy, I mean, I don't like his beard. I don't like his beard. I think your beard is, is rubbish. Uh -huh. I think it's a bad beard. So, we just can't. <laughs> oh, no, I threw him into the sea. Oh, I threw him into the sea. He sunk. He sunk. I didn't mean to throw him into the sea. I thought he was going gonna to land somewhere. I don't know if that means he's dead and gone forever, or if the building will spawn a new million now i don't know who knows it could do either frankly i can't do anything but recommend this game especially if you if you are a fan of this sort of genre of the god game or the town management realms <laughs> the whales the whales and dolphins um then really i think uh it's 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 a must-have at the pr at the price it is you'd be crazy not to get it now i think the price will probably go up as they add features i hope it will because at its current price point it's, I mean, it's way too cheap for for what I hope this becomes because I would really like to see uh, something that isn't just somewhere to go and mess around but that actually has some challenge and some depth and you can really build sort of quite elaborate towns and, and have quite elaborate interactions with the world. Next thing to build, I think, is going to be a bakery. So let's build... Up. We've got uh, resource buildings, so we've got woodcutters and we've got masons. I've already got both of those, so I don't need those. And then I've got food supply. I've got a windmill already in place. It's built up over there. I'm assuming because I can build these things that, you know, there will come a time when you just start with basically a blank slate and have to build it from, up from scratch. Um, or bakery. I've already got a hunter. I've already got a fisherman. So it's just a bakery that I need right now. So I'll just grab that. So... It's so nice. It's such a it's such a good interface. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this bakery down. I think I'm just going to turn it around like that, so it's just up against this little road here. Can't build roads at the moment. I think you're pretty much stuck with the road layout as it is. I don't know if it speeds up the little minions as they walk around or if it's just decorative. It's probably just decorative at this point. Also, these clouds um, they never seem to actually rain. You can combine them together to make kind of bigger clouds, <laughs> which is just so cool. But they don't actually seem to rain, so hopefully this is something that will come at some point. You'll be able to combine these together, rain on your on your crops, and and actually kind of have a, you know, have an influence have an influence on the productive capacity of your land by utilizing godlike powers, which actually is it's kind of cool. That kind of that kind of bridges the gap a little bit between this being a town management game versus it being a, a god game, you know. And I think that I think that would be amazing realm, virtual realm. We're in a virtual realm, totally. It's not a game. Um, there we go, look, we've got a baker. There he is. Little baker, down there. Uh, he seems to think that we need um, something before he can do his job, so let's just grab one of these guys. We're going to go over to the windmill here, and we're going to assign a miller to the windmill. There we go. He'll start milling flour, which of course the baker can then turn into bread, and then we will have bread. We also will want to build... Oh yeah, we can bring up information on things if we want, so if we want to know what something has or what something needs you can just press the down and then click on it there we go we've got a uh, we've got a pub there's a pub there's an inn here look we've got a we've got an inn can i assign someone to be like an innkeeper hey. you there i want you to be an innkeeper huh? i don't think i can maybe the innkeeper maybe that's not been implemented yet like there is an inn 
but it doesn't need an innkeeper. It just keeps itself. People just go in, help themselves to beer whenever they feel like it, get hammered, and then go back to, you know, building up their town and, and doing all that sort of, like, um, town-like stuff. All right. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, so then we've got defense. Now we can build an iron forge, a barracks, a catapult, and a rally flag. So we need the iron forge in order to be able to uh, make some weapons and things. So we'll just chuck that down just there. There we go. Need a worker to work on that. Here we go. We've got a guy over here who's not doing anything. I don't know if there's an easy way of finding these or you've just got to kind of look around and find them and hope for the best. Come on, start building. Oh, okay. He's building. He's building. He's doing it. He knows what he needs to do. We need people work in the mine over here. To uh, produce the raw ores that we will then be able to smelt into that fine and beautiful steel. My forge is coming on nicely over here. This guy's waving at me. What do you need? Let's check. Uh, we got one of one. Oh, it's, it's done. It's done. Job done. This guy's become... <laughs> well, he's either... He's either a, like a, an iron monger, like a, a weaponsmith, or uh, he might be the karate kid. Um, it's possible that's what he is. Where is he? He's got, he keeps running away from me. He's, you know, I mean, he's got the bandana, so he kind of looks like he might be. Karate kid? Yeah? Are we, um, the crane? I can't do the crane because I have no lower body. <laughs> I'm doing the crane! I have no lower body! I would be doing the crane if I had a lower body. Anyway, look, that's enough of that. That's enough of that! I kind of want the barracks to be near these, like, archery targets here, so they can, like, train and things. I think that's what they do. Uh, so... Defense... Barracks. I need three wood and one... Uh, wheat, weirdly. So that's fine. Put that down. Put that down there. Fits in beautifully beautifully like um, do we have any spare guys at the moment I think we can get get this guy this, this is one of our, um, our, our stone workers one of our masons we don't really need him to be a mason anymore we'll put him on the job the task of being a builder so that he can construct our new barracks and then start producing military units now military units uh, unlike workers like, workers are just sort of citizens who get tasked to do different jobs, and you've got a kind of a cap, and that's based on the residences. Military soldiers seem to have their own separate cap, so you will just sort of produce soldiers. Um, maybe they're robots, maybe they're constructs, maybe it's some kind of wizarding thing. I don't know. That dolphin just jumped out of the water. There's also these birds flying around, which are very cool. Um, let's split those up. I prefer the idea. There's nice, nice like, white, fluffy clouds floating about the place rather than big, heavy storm clouds. Wants a big heavy storm cloud uh, over them. Oh, there we go. Look, our uh, our barracks is complete, so we can can zoom down. So the barracks, if we look at that. Uh, the barracks can turn uh, one sword and one bread into one warrior, and we can have up to three of those. Can you see that? All right. And it can turn one wood and one grilled fish into an archer. I don't know actually who grills the fish. I mean, I know we have a fisherman catching the fish. I don't know who grills the fish. Maybe the baker? The baker's grill fish? Where's our bakery? Um, is that our bakery there? No, that just makes bread. Uh, what's this? This could be it. Some sort of market stall. Oh no, that's the pub. <laughs> what am I doing? Of course that's the pub. Of course it is. Uh, we've got the church here. I don't know if the church does anything. Hold on, let's see what here. Church doesn't seem to do anything. It just sits there looking pretty and has the bell that you can toll. For whom does the bell toll? It tolls for the townsmen. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, look, we got some soldiers. So we've got a couple of archers and we've got a soldier here. And what you can do once you've got soldiers is you can build a rally flag, which basically is the means of controlling them. So. Uh, let's bring up our build menu, defense, get a rally flag, just chuck it down there for now. Uh, and then if I pick up my soldiers, stick them by the rally flag, they'll stay by the rally flag. Now you can just let them sort of patrol around the town. I don't know if you can build more than one rally flag, you might be able to. Let's try. Let's try. Rally flag. Oh yeah, I can build three. So there we go, I'll build another rally flag, put it there. 
So I'll have one rally flag for my archers, and I'll have another rally flag for my warriors. They're the same colour, unfortunately. It'd be nice if that was different, if you had different coloured or different banners. Do they have different banners? I think they have the same banner. That one's got a sword and a spear. This one also has a sword and a spear. Okay. You there! Ta yes! Yes, you waving at me! I need you! I need you! It's like an action figure! I need you! There we go. Alright, we've got two or three. Uh, I can also build, the last thing that I can build is a catapult. So this is the last defensive weapon, and this is kind of the extent that there is now at the moment, so it's important to understand that, that, you know, there isn't a huge amount of different things at the moment. But you can, you can have a lot of fun messing around with what is there um, and building out your, your little town. But I would, I would hope to see this be one of the things that really starts to change quickly. I'd like to see this kind of like island expanded, I'd like to see the options expanded and, and a bit of challenge, a bit of real difficulty thrown in um, to at least one game mode, to at least a kind of, you know, you could have a sandbox easy mode, that's fine. But it'd be nice if these guys are hammering away. Um, you know, I, I think I think these sorts of these sorts of things really live or die by how much they're able to challenge you and how much you're able to kind of get replayability out of it because you go back and try and do it better. You know, if, if it's all about just building a cool and interesting town, well, there needs to be ways of building varied varied towns in varied environments and and reacting and responding to varied um, stimuli in that respect. But uh, but the other thing is obviously just you know make it difficult, make it so it's possible to fail. Um, all right, here we go. We're, we're, we're building our catapult. Our catapult is nearly complete. I'll get a stone to put in it. Um, I think I think I keep my stones over here somewhere. There we go. There we go. I've got a stone. I can put a stone in the catapult. All right, here's my catapult. So basically, um, you put your catapult. It gives you like a little it gives you like a little target indicator of where it's going to fire and then you just put your stone in it did it fire oh there we go he's doing it he's doing it fire it fire I don't know how to fire the catapult. I thought, I mean, they didn't do it before. I didn't even do it. I, th I just thought you just put a stone in it and it fired it immediately. But apparently that's not the case. Maybe it only fires if there's an enemy nearby. Um, speaking of enemies, that's the last thing. So let's just take a look at that. Let's bring up, uh, I think you dictate when the enemies arrive. Weirdly, you just decide now is the time for the enemies to attack. Um, so, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Enemy attack. <laughs> there we go. I have triggered an enemy attack. Now they are abroad. Enemies coming in from the distant ocean. Who knows what great and terrible foreign kingdoms lurk out there just waiting to invade my beautiful isle. The Isle of the Wizard, it is known. It is a mythical place where they say that milk and honey grow out of the sheep and um, <laughs> the ground is paved with purple stones. Oh, look, there we go. There, in the distance, they come in their ships of wood and canvas. They bring steel. They wish to destroy me, but they shall not prevail. For my great small army of two warriors and... Th Why am I not building another warrior? What's going on here? Probably should have checked that. Um, I have no swords and no bread. Did I take people off building swords and bread? Um, look, here's a guy. The ship is coming in. We need you there. Come this way. Come this way. We want you to make swords in our sword factory. Um, is that ready? Uh, we don't actually have any ore. Okay, well, there's no time for that now. We are under attack. Let's grab our flags. Here they come. Plant my flags down. I've forgotten which flag. This is why they need to be different, really. I've forgotten which is my melee flag and which is my um, my my other flag, my range flag. Look, they're already coming in. Those nefarious uh, scumbag. Let me just go over quickly and grab my catapult. Oh, we're 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 under attack. We are under attack. Come on. Fight. 
Fight my minions! Oh, this building's under attack. I think some of my minions have been killed. I can't even see anything over there. I think we've I think we've succeeded. Oh, there's a guy somehow. This guy's gotten all the way up here. What how have you gotten up there? <laughs> Down he goes. I mean it's pretty it's it's not difficult to repel the attack. Basically, if you've got as many troops as I am, apparently you can repel the attack. As, as far as I know, those those don't scale in difficulty as yet. But again, that's something that I would hope would change fairly quickly. As of right now, though, it's it's a beautiful little toy to play with. It's a beautiful sandbox world to just kind of build up as you see fit. You know, spend ages deciding the precise perfect place to place that bakery, the perfect place for your little residential area to be built up. And I think that's probably enough. At the price point it's at, I think that's enough. Even if they stop development at this point, I think there is enjoyment enough to be had out of this to warrant the price that they're asking. But I really hope that that price goes up. And I really hope that they continue to develop and that, that we see this become the first really proper VR town building game. Because as, as far as I know, there are a few other very sort of early accessy type ones available. Um, I've taken a look at one or two of them. Nothing with this level of polish, I have to say. This is, this is really, this is really good. But it does need more depth. So hopefully that'll come. Until that does, that is all from me and from Townsman VR for now. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you find this game interesting and you want to check it out, it is available on Steam now. I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can visit it through your interdimensional store page front um, that you use to access all of your virtual realm content as indeed I do as a wizard um, although you know obviously I have the flying tower that's on the back of the space whale but even if you don't have a flying tower on the back of a space whale it's fine I'm sure you'll be able to do it nonetheless um, for more of this sort of content I will be trying to make more videos like this in the future that explore different uh, new games just taking a look at them new things that pop up on Steam as well as continuing my adventures in the vanishing realms and indeed beginning other wizarding adventures in other perhaps more zombie infested realms and continuing development there'll be another video on white world probably on saturday as i'm looking to do a, a quick final update for that to kind of put it in a state where i think it's okay to to step back and leave it for a while and refocus on other things but until all of that happens thanks a lot for watching everyone i have been weird wizard a god of sorts to the townsman vr and i will see you later